Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over viable tissue versus non-viable tissue, okay? Um, some people, they just make wound care so much more complicated than what it really is. If we're looking at that wound, it's really telling us what we need to be using on it. Okay, when it comes down to it, some people are like, oh, there, there's so many product choices. Yes, there is so many product choices, but each one has a certain function and ability. Okay, um, even when it comes down to the different, um, the different products and how much they absorb, it's like, okay, how much exudate is coming out of your wound? It's going to tell you what you need to be using. Are we just using regular gauze? Are we using a foam? Are we using something more absorbent? The wound is literally telling us what it needs. We just have to grab the right dressing for it. So right now we're going to be looking at viable tissue versus non-viable. Okay. That is going to tell us, do we need to be protecting the wound? or do we need to be debriding the wound, okay? But first, before we get started, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel reach more people. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so viable tissue. What we do is we protect viable tissue, okay? Non-viable tissue, we need to debride. It's dead tissue. You, if, if you're not treating non-viable tissue and it, like the wound will never heal, it's, it's dead tissue. So you're literally treating dead tissue. So if you're not using something to debride that tissue, you're just treating dead tissue. It needs to be removed. You need to use one of the forms of debridement. Um, I'll, I'll put a link somewhere here on this video, um, that has all the different, types of debridement that you can use. There's lots of different things you can use for debridement, but you need to use one of them, okay? So epithelial tissue, viable, we protect it. Granulation tissue, it's viable, we protect it. Slough, non-viable tissue, we debride it. Necrotic tissue, which is different than a scab, okay? Necrotic tissue, non-viable, debride. Unless there is some reasons where we don't debride uh, necrotic tissue. So when we have, say, a diabetic foot, if we, uh, if they don't have good circulation, we are going to leave that necrotic tissue there. We got to be super, super careful with diabetics. Um, and if we have necrotic tissue that is stable, it's dry, intact, we're leaving it, okay? Um, so this, this is just kind of educational. It's not for you to be really debriding your, your own wounds. Um, it's more educational for uh, nurses and healthcare professionals about what they should be doing, okay? Um, always, always, always talk to your doctor or wound care professional first. Okay, so we'll go over the different tissue types um, and what they are if you're if you're unsure of that or just as a review. So if epithelial tissue, this is your skin, this is the final stages. It appears pink, um, it can be pearly white, um, it wrinkles, it wrinkles when you touch it. Um, it occurs in the final stages of healing when the wound is covered by healthy epithelium. Okay. Granulation tissue. Now this appears red and moist. Okay, so this is what we want for a wound. Red, pink, moist. Um, it occurs when healthy tissue is formed in the remodeling phase um, that is well vascularized. Okay, so we have good blood flow. Um, it sometimes does bleed easily, not always. Slough tissue. So slough tissue, it can appear as yellow, brown, gray, different colors, okay? Slough is devitalized tissue. Devitalized. So there is no blood flow to this area. It is made of dead 
cells or debris. So we got to remove it, okay, with one of the debridement methods. Necrotic tissue can appear hard, um, dry, black. This tissue prevents a wound from healing, okay? Necrotic tissue prevents a wound from healing. Necrotic tissue forms when it is not getting enough nutrients and oxygen um, and blood flow to that area, okay? So it does need to be removed. We need to make sure that we have good blood flow to the area before we do this, okay? Now, hypergranulation tissue, this does appear red, uneven, granular. It's normally raised higher than the normal skin level. So you'll see granulations in there. Um, it's overgrown tissue. So this is normally treated by a topical steroid um, or through, um, but it, it's a silver swab, uh, silver nitrate. So that's not something I'm really going to get into, but once again, um, hypergranulation tissue doesn't like to heal. It's hard, very, very hard to heal. So we do also have to get that under control. Once again, talk to your wound care professional or doctor about this. All right, guys, so I hope this video did give you a better idea of what you should be doing. So vitalized tissue, your epithelial, your granulation tissue, we need to just protect this tissue. Our non-viable tissue, we need to be debriding. Our slough, our necrotic tissue, we need to be choosing a product that is going to debride that tissue. Okay, if we're not removing that tissue, we're not going to heal the wound. When it comes down to it, you cannot heal a, a wound that has something over, over top of it, preventing it from healing, okay? So that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope you did find it helpful, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye for now.